Hi guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be explaining to you how to um, do videos on PlayStation 4, like I'm doing now. So I won't be able to show you, but I will be able to tell you. So, first thing you're going to need, um, if you want like, editing like I have, like with the weird theme and so things, is you're going to need to have a share factor installed on your PS4. And sadly, it is only on PS4. Um, I, I think I did mention it in my 1v1 video, but I'm explaining it more clear in this video. So basically, what you have to do is, first thing, download Share Factory or check that you have Share Factory. That's a good step. If you want to do like a Fortnite theme to make a Fortnite background or anything like that, you can go on Fortnite and near like where you can get all the pictures, which is to be done by going to this. Uh, PlayStation Store, click on Fortnite, scrolling down to the bottom, you will see the Fortnite screens, uh, like the Fortnite pictures, like I have the Raven, now the start of my videos. Um, yeah. So, like, you can download that to have, like, the Fortnite intro that I have in this video, that you should have seen, because I should have put it in, but I don't know. Um, because I haven't, like, obviously put the intro in yet, because... I need to do that with Share Factory because that's how you put the like the weird intro and outro thing in. Um, yeah. So first thing you have to do once you've downloaded Share Factory and Fortnite theme, if you want to, you're gonna have to double tap the Share Factory button, which gets your recording started. Always make sure you're recording because that's why sometimes I get a nice video that I want then after i double tap share play button no i double tap the share button that is on like the left next to your d-pad on your controller you click that twice and then you start recording then after that you need to make sure um once you've done you just double tap the share button again now this step you have to have your uh youtube linked to your playstation 4 which can simply be done by um so the way to do it is either it tells you a code to enter in and like you have to enter in the code on one of your devices that are logged into your youtube account you enter in that code and you're signed into your youtube account once you sign into your youtube account you then need to um just simply click on the videos option in share factory which i believe you start on and then after you press new project on the videos option after you've clicked on the videos option you can then uh, yeah once you click on there there should be the first button to start on is, is again the new project so you click on it Oh you click new project, after you click new project, um, you can then choose uh, like a theme that you want the video to be in, so like there's Fortnite theme that you have to download, as I said in the start of the video, it should be one of the like, player pictures. There is like a horror theme, a battlefield hardline theme, even though that game is dead now. Um, there's like a playroom theme, which I've not played yet, because I don't know. Yeah, there's like multiple different, like many theme, themes that you can use. One thing that will happen is you automatically have the link to Share Factory put in the description, like the download link to Share Factory, which is kind of good because in this video, the link to download Share Factory will be in it, so you can uh, just download it off of your like mobile phone if you've got your PlayStation account links, so that when you get home or when you turn on your PS4, you will have Share Factory installed. So after you've chose your theme, it will ask you to select a video and possibly any other parts of the theme so you want to click on the parts of the theme you want and you just want to click 
square, I think it's, yeah, square, uh, you want to rename the portrait to whatever you want it to say, so, like, um, so, like, this one will probably be called how to do, um, videos, make videos on PS4, but, like, that's too long, so, um, I'll just put, like, how to make videos, maybe, and yeah so once you've done that you can then uh like edit any parts of the video cut parts out by splitting the clip and then deleting the part of the clip that you don't want and keeping the part that you do want and once you've done that you have to click circle if you just going to lose the project So, um, yeah, so what you need to do is, you can just, um, what part was I at? So yeah, so you can like, cut all the parts out if you want to cut any parts out, if you don't, don't have to, um, yeah. So, after you do that, so it will say rendering video and depending on the length of your video depends on how long it will take for you to render the video so like this might take five minutes maybe depending on how long it is but yeah so once it's rendered it will then go into a new stage which is share or share later so obviously you can share later if you really want to or what I usually do is I share at the moment. So the way you do that is share. Then it'll say YouTube, Facebook, I think, and Instagram. Three options, which I think, like, as I said, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. This is what you're going on. Click on your Facebook button to Facebook or Instagram. So, just done with that, you can, um, it'll start, it'll, like, it's basically like when you're downloading a game, you will have to wait, like, 15 minutes, maybe, and then, like, no, well, my Spider-Man video, my 1v1s video only just uploaded, but that was, like, 26 minutes long, so that was obviously a, a longer video, I think it might have been, like, a full length match of, no I don't think I would have made an hour video but yeah it was a pretty long video so it took a little a long time to render it took a lot especially the spider-man ones spider-man ones are usually long so they take a long time to render and then it's just annoying but yeah uh that took a little about 20 minutes maybe to do the Spider-Man one and that was like half an hour so I think like 20 minutes for a half an hour video which this isn't that long you can just like get your iPad or your phone or something out or your PC which you can also use to edit watch video whilst you wait um then whilst you're watching the video you can just keep looking at how, what percent you friended on maybe if you want to be cringy like me you can do some TikToks while I say cringy my TikTok is pretty good. If you like my... And then it goes... That's how you make a video. So we just gotta play the rest of the match and see how it goes. Hopefully we can get a dub for you guys. Because I know it's what you guys like. Hopefully we can get a few more kills, because we're only on one kill at the moment. Wee!
Yeah, you know, guys. Pretty small circle for 25, uh, 24 people. 22 people, okay. People are starting to die, which is good, because that leaves less people, which means high chance of getting a win. I think there's someone there. There's someone there. Oh, yeah, they're there. Or around there somewhere. say how how wasn't that a headshot and saying how was that a headshot not joining to mr toxic's party yeah they're toxic oh sick i can't keep that much this guy just stopped spamming me I think they should do something like to prevent people from spamming you with invites because it just really annoys people. And it's like not fair that they are getting spammed. They don't want to get spammed. They don't like when they're getting a million invites or a million messages. I think they should have like this one like, you are following people too far. Let it like stop following for a little bit and then you can follow people. Like, they should have something like that, like, you're messaging too fast, stop messaging, try and message again in a little while, and you can. Not just let them spam you with party invites. Like, I get it was messages that I was talking about, but they should just be really getting them with parties. I don't know why I'm, like, breathing that heavily. Because I'm like getting all concentrated. I think I saw someone there. Can't tell though. So I'm um, guys. I'm sorry that I'm a hard scoper and not a quick scoper or a no scoper. It's just like the way I play. I no one can make that play. That's how I play. That's how I want to play. Well, it's not how I want to play, but it's how I play. It's how I will play. Oh, I should have got him. I should have just took that snipe and risk it. He has two, yeah. It's hard to tell when they have two of the same colour. When they're different colours. Bro, is this guy trying to snipe me? Yeah, he's obviously trying to snipe me. Like, so 
tutorials in one, how to like make people think they're going somewhere else and you're really going to a completely different place. Now they're gonna think that I'm going that way, they could possibly think I'm still even in the place. <gasps> oh yeah this See look, they're shooting at the plane. We also kind of use planes as bait. Please come on, Fortnite gods, let me get this win. Praise me. Six people left. That's oh, sorry. I think they must be damaged or they just threw away their balloons. But we're not going to try and snipe anyone unless they like start a fight. Because I don't want to be the one to start a fight. I want to be the one to like hop in a fight. What the hell? There's fireworks here. Okay. Oh, there's fireworks. I'm happy that. Wait. Fireworks haven't. I want to be the one to just hop into a fight and steal the kills. Not the ones like start the fight, get all the kills. I want to get like I want to like jump into the fight after it's over. Like the fight ends, I hop in. He's in the fight. He's our victim. Possibly get a five kill win. Please die to the storm. That nearly could have been bad. Another dub. Man, I'm proud. If I kill God, that's what I'm saying. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully a live stream at the moment. But you'll probably be doing it when it's uploaded.